Come on in, come on in. <laughs> Welcome to my crack house. Your frog right in there. I'm gonna try and get it. Oh my gosh, huge tarantula. Nothing like off-roading in an old school bus. What a nice cave. I'm sure that that moss on the ceiling is not dangerous or scary at all. Might as well grab a couple, put them in the hat for the road. <laughs> now old Uncle Ben's gonna clog the dam. <laughs> now you can barely see him. What do you kids think this is? The Ritz Carlton? Look at this little swamp dog. See, Uncle Ben's gonna have a little bite. How beautiful this little thing is. We might have little leeches on our legs after we get out of here, guys. All right, everybody. Hello, my name is Mr. Frog. Just kidding, it's me talking, you dingus. This is our little plains leopard frog that I found over in the corner here by the water bucket. Also, look at Morgan in there with all the little baby ducks. But he had a really nice night in here. Uh, he slept with this little pleco. Look at this little pleco that I got at the store. And he uh, helps us clean all the algae. This is a rubber-lipped pleco, I believe. And he has been doing really well here for about uh, five days. I don't really show you guys the pets unless they survive five days. Oh, and there's our little albino. So I got two plecos. And their job is just to eat all this algae in here. Oh, calm down. Down, hoppy boy. My torp tool is up here in these little weeds. We got a really exciting video. I'm gonna feed the animals in two seconds. It's gonna take literally two seconds. So this is my little Pac-Man frog, as you can see. They're very boring animals. They don't really do anything. And this is a special little enclosure that I got. But today we're gonna be doing a little creature feature on these adorable little baby boys. And I'm gonna be trying to catch you guys the elusive and hard to find. It's much, much harder to find them during the day, and today we're going to do that. Wow, look at this nice turtle enclosure. All right, everybody, the baby's chilling. The goose is, is sitting in this little pool. All the ducks are hanging out in the shade. Then he's sleeping in her little house. Goodbye, Kevin, love you, goodbye. I'm gonna be taking Pogger so the baby gets this whole area to walk around and eat the grass. There you go, children. There you go, Miss Vinny. Also, yesterday I said to you guys that bunnies are solitary animals. They're not necessarily, but whatever they're in a really stressful social situation like a new male that's just trying to parents know what i'm talking about kids don't and that's probably worse than being alone rest assured we will be getting her a friend again and uh this little man that we got is going to be neutered before he comes back hang in there julia goodbye children goodbye schmickens Ooh, look at this little boy okay mr the baby take good care of the house while i'm gone i love you and we appreciate you and i can't wait to see your performance at acl on october 3rd remember kids always get in the bus with strangers especially if they're going frog catching <laughs> do we have any AC. What do you kids think this is? The Ritz Carlton? Of course we don't have AC. <laughs> yeah, Waco's got a top golf now. Never heard of it. All right, I know how scared you kids are of the swamp, so we're gonna go to Cabela's here, a little place I like to call Cabringus, and we're gonna get some waiters for you. Hey, last one in the Cabringus is a rotten egg. <laughs> Based and dog-pilled Cabela's lady gave Poggers a treat. Haven't checked the P.O. box in a while, but can someone please send me some 164-ounce jig head? Because they don't sell them anywhere in Texas. $84? $230? <laughs> <laughs> hey, those seem to fit. I might just steal some Valor today. Oh, hey! It's the Minecraft gamers. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> Welcome to my crack house, which is now a crack home. As you can see, we finished all the demo work. Uh, we got all the floor holes completely patched and nice and good. As you can see, check this out, guys. We have subfloor everywhere now, and there's really no more work that we need to do on the subfloor. Although it is a little uneven here, that is okay. We can fix that. We should be ready pretty soon to just start putting out all the insulation on the walls, and then we're gonna start drywalling everything. Woo! Woo! Can we get four likes in the comments, guys, for that? Four likes in the comments for drywall. Woo! Still need to replace these baseboards, which will be very, very easy to do. Well, not very, very easy, but it's not gonna be super hard. With one friend, I was able to jack this part of the house up and replace these baseboards. And I put some shims under here to make it nice and steady. When yeah, we got a door that locks. Ever heard of it? This door is in the front, so this place is completely locked up. Now I just need to cover up the siding here. And we got a friend coming in pretty soon to fix this as well. I'm gonna use these deck screws to fix the tortoise enclosure. Other than that, guys, this house is looking really good. A while ago, I was a little bit concerned about the structural integrity of this wall, but it's really only barely slanting a little bit to the right. And we can fix that very easily. All of this we're gonna need to do anyways, because we need to replace these windows. 
These windows and these baseboards obviously need replaced, but we can do the same method that I used over here, which is just lag bolting a two by four to a couple two by sixes to here, and then just jacking it up and then sliding the board in underneath. Really wasn't all that hard. But yeah, we really need to replace this because there's really nothing holding this thing up except for those really old rotten boards. But after that, you guys, this is totally gonna be done. Once these windows are replaced and these boards are replaced, we will be ready to start doing wildlife rehab in here. And Uncle Ben is gonna be calling this place Oh, but if anyone wants to come out here and help us replace these baseboards, please reach out. One of Tito's buddies was able to come out and cut down all these tree limbs, which is very nice. Now we got all these limbs out of the way. Don't know how we're going to move these. And I do believe that this is all the wood we need to replace those baseboards. I told you guys it's not going to happen overnight, but it's slowly happening. We still need some able-bodied big boys to be able to uh, strap up this fencing all along these poles. That is at least a four-man job, and I am only one man. Oh, all right, time to get this frog to safety. What, you kids never climbed through jagger bushes before? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Anything for the frog. Well, kids, here we are. This nasty roadside bog. And no, this isn't trespassing technically because this land is for sale. I mean, I was definitely, I am considering buying this land, this nice marsh. Come on, kids, it's not that hard. All right, kids, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this nasty little bog together and look for some of the green tree frogs. They're gonna be hiding in the crevices between trees. Now, these frogs spend the majority of their lives up in the treetops. They only come down during the rainy season and in the summer whenever it's time to mate. Other than that, it's very, very hard to find them because just like this little moth here, they have incredible camouflage. But it's not impossible. Let's go. I keep seeing little tiny things jump over here. Oh, look, a little bird. We might have little leeches on our legs after we get out of here, guys. <laughs> well, don't just sit there. Parker's has this here. Let's go. <laughs> water's real warm. But as you can see, people have been dumping stuff in here and Poggers really likes water that he doesn't have to swim in. Look at this boy. Maybe we should get this land. At the end of the day, it's like, you're really not going to be able to do anything with this property. I mean, take a look at this. We really are just touring this land right now. But look, all of this is just old oil drums that people have just dumped here over the course of a while. That heavily devalues the land, which is already super devalued because it's literally just marsh. There's zero way you would be able to build or develop on here. It's really not the best location, but it could be a really cool nature preserve. And if we lived here, we could have all the tree frogs we want. So check this out. You can tell that a bunch of pigs have been living in here and rooting through all of this dirt. And they come in here and they eat roots and they eat all kinds of bugs. This is actually a wonderful place for pigs. And they all get buggers. <laughs> He's gonna make the car so dirty. Hey, this is nice. Okay, you see that fallen willow over there? I would bet a little bit of money that there's probably a tree frog in there. But it's a little too deep for old Uncle Ben to walk through here. Look at this little swamp dog. What a dog. Dog with the wall. Other places that frogs might be is in little cracks like this. I know that there was probably about 100 tree frogs in here last time I was here. I'm sure there's probably one in there. Okay, guys, I actually see a frog right in there. I'm gonna try and get it. Oh my gosh, huge trench. Okay, so right here we have our elusive green tree frog yada 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 we talked about that but look at this freaking thing oh my gosh now, i don't believe that that's a tarantula in fact it might even be dead but it's definitely a big old spider i don't know if i even want to stick my hand in there for that little boy. but in the words of michael scarn heads i do it tails i don't this is a sam's club membership i don't have coins what do you think i am poor heads i do it best two out of three all right that didn't count that's the middle okay let's see oh that's heads Guess we're gonna grab it. <laughs> okay, he's starting to come out, you guys. He's actually coming towards us. All it During the day, it's a lot harder to catch them because you can't just stun them with a flashlight. All right, LED light is really good at that. Remember, you always want to wet your hands. Make sure they're nice and wet. You don't want them to get all dried out in there. Oh, gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> all right, everybody. This is the American green tree frog they are very very cute this was actually my first pet ever when i was a little kid up in pennsylvania now there's plenty of safe ways to hold them but i'd say the safest is probably just by their back legs you want to hold it not too tight but just tight enough to where they won't just hop away after a while they start to get comfortable on you i used to think that these were the most insane and exotic and beautiful animals and then i came down to texas and i just saw them randomly in a marsh one day when i was fishing then i just became hooked on looking for these guys they're really hard to find honestly we're really lucky for finding it but that is the exact kind of place where they hang out they like to stay damp and they like to stay in a dark safe place away from predators and then when the night falls they all come out they climb on these little, oh, there you go. They climb on these little trees. And uh, next thing you know, they're making their mating calls until they can find a mate. 
Poggers? No. For very proficient swimmers, they're even better climbers, as you can see. And this little guy is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creature. This is my favorite animal. This was my first ever pet. I love them to death. And although these guys are super hard to find, especially during the day, here in Texas, they're super, super common. And throughout most of the Southern United States, these guys can be found in all the swampy or boggy areas that you could find. And they make amazing pets for beginners, believe it or not. Really all they eat is just pinhead crickets and any other kind of crickets you can give them. They don't need to eat super often once they're mature. I'm not gonna keep this guy because if I was to have one as a pet, I would get one that was bred in captivity, basically domestic, and he's a little bit more used to being in an enclosed space. If you wanted to, you could also legally take these guys, I believe, with a fishing or hunting license from the wild and keep them as pets but that's it though we're gonna let this little guy go i'm gonna put him back in his little hole so that he doesn't get attacked by predators these guys are super at risk at every age of their life from tadpole to full adult frog for predation look how beautiful this little thing is anything will eat them even sunfish will, will go at these guys especially when they're tadpoles there's obviously no bass in these waters there doesn't seem to be a lot of snakes alligators or anything like that it's no wonder why they thrive here. go ahead and put him back in here goodbye mr fro so another big thing that you guys have to worry about here is water moccasins now you kids have your waders on so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, water moccasins are a brown venomous snake here in Texas. They're really really common but they won't attack you unless you try to mess with them first. But I don't think there's any in here. Why would there be? <laughs> Let's see if we can find another frog in one of these toxic barrels. Hoggers is really having a heck of a time over there. Look at this man. Hoggers really is a little water dog. Hoggers you gotta stop man. It's too much. I think I found another one. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh, ooh. Look at this adorable baby boy. Wow, he's so green compared to that last one. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Now you kind of see why I love this frog so much, why it's my favorite animal. Look how beautiful. That concludes today's creature feature. Thanks so much for tagging along. Now let's go get something to eat in Waco. <laughs> look how he just clings to that tree. You can hardly see him. Oh, look at his golden eyes. Wow. Goodbye, Mr. Fro. Once again, this is the best day of Pogger's life. Those weren't leeches. Those were all bullfrog tadpoles. Found another one hello mr fro you can really appreciate their camouflage once they get into a little area like that now you can barely see him we never would have seen him if he wasn't just hanging out on this little log here nothing like off-roading in an old school bus look at this bus and this clip is for my tax write-off all right everybody i'm taking you on vacation to a nice little place named the belton look at that island on another video we're gonna go out to that island and there's a bunch of deer living on there and we're gonna hand catch okay we're going to a nice little place called chalk ridge Falls. Uh, is what I was saying earlier. And there's all kinds of amazing things down at this little park. What's really cool is a little waterfall. Looks like the old dam is running today. Well, here it is. Just kids. Oakley doakley, kids. We're on our way to the falls. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that's pretty neat. This here is an aspen. You can tell it's an aspen because of the way it is. How neat is that? Okay, guys, here it is. Just kidding. <laughs> what, you thought this was the falls? <laughs> Well, 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 looks like we found our first herp. Do you see this adorable little little man here just chilling? Let's see if we can dive and grab him right into this little pile of cactuses here. Take a look at this old man here. You see how he's just hiding in there? Look, he knows that we see him, but he thinks that he's safe. He doesn't know that I like sticking my hands in rotten cactuses. All right, we got bigger fish to fry. That ain't nothing. But yeah, this is just a normal type of place in Central Texas. Do you see what I see? <laughs> Some food. We've been starving for days. Get out of my way, Carter. Look at these beautiful, beautiful prickly pears. Okay, everyone, these are prickly pear cactus pears. They're very, very tasty. They actually taste like little kiwis, but they got all these little spikes on them, you see? So if you're trying to survive in the wild in Texas and uh, all you got is prickly pears, all you have to do is just scrape these off with a rock and then cut them open. But you got to scrape all of them off or else these are going to get in your mouth and in your fingers and everything. And you aren't really supposed to eat the skin, but as long as you scrape these little boys off, that skin tastes real nice to Uncle Ben at least. This is what they look like on the inside, as you can see. Uncle Ben's going to have a little bite. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but there's a lot of seed. Oh, we've got a little energy in our bellies. We can go to the spider hole. <laughs> In this little hole, we got all kinds of big old tadpoles. Well, these are just a bunch of little little minnows, but we're looking for those big boys and big juicy boys. Oh, we got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> well, 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 well. What a nice cave. I'm sure that that moss on the ceiling is not dangerous or scary at all. Okay, guys. <laughs> There's that moss on the wall. Based and ceiling pilled daddy longleggers. 
If this video gets four likes, oh, 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 Help! Parker's just like, what is it, Dad? Here's another quick creature feature for you guys. These are daddy longleggers. They're not dangerous to a human, but they are very cute, and they just kind of dance on the ceiling everywhere. If you're really into the urban rescue ranch lore, you'll find a video where we took a flamethrower and cleared this out so we could get further in there. But all we found was a frog. Let me know in the comments if you want us to camp in there sometime. But I suppose while we're here, we might as well grab a couple, put them in the hat for the road. <laughs> Look at this. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. And before I go, I just wanted to tell you guys that Obama's last name is... Hey, drug rat. Hey, that's it. We'll have a camping video up here one of these days. Love you. Appreciate Appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. This water coming from the ground. Oh, free croc with a nice little Hulk giblet. Skull. Here it is, guys. Shock Ridge Fall. Now old Uncle Ben's gonna clog the dam. <laughs> so this clogs it, and then whenever they open it, it comes down to the fall. There it is, all coming out. Now this is epic. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to clean up your litter and the litter of other people. Come on, poggers. Let's go. Come on. Good boy. Look at this tiny little toe. The world is so large for him. All right, that's it, Californians. Come on down to Texas and raise our property values. Ah!